Donna says, just wondering, there is a way to show just a part of screen when recording on Teams. Uh, if I want to show something to talk about, but do not want my notes uh, also on screen to show. So how do you do that? Uh, assuming that uh, you get enough screen real estate and you can have your notes and the part that you want to share on one screen, then or, or multiple screens for that matter. Um, when you go to share, don't share the desktop. Use the share the applications option. Yeah. And then you yep. can select your, your target window that you want to share out. And that should do just what you want. It gets a little tricky when you have to switch between tabs or uh, applications, right? So you're going to have to stop sharing and then reshare. But it's well, there's a, there. for people. That, so I like I have two monitors. And so when I am presenting something, I generally will, you know, like pa have the PowerPoint presentation, the video over it. But I'll, I'll, I'll have like a browser open on my second monitor. I'll have the presentation seen over there and then I'll share the monitor. So then I just alt tab in between the browser if I'm going to demo something or show something and the presentation. And I can then have my notes over on my primary monitor. Um, and so if the issue might be like, you know, exactly what Norm said, where you share out the application rather than the entire monitor so that you are limited to what you see, it also uh, improves the performance of Teams. So it's less of a drain on your resources by sharing the application specifically. And I suppose the one thing I didn't say that it's important to realize is that people are getting these ultra wide monitors now and when you share the desktop and you just have a small, you know, Internet Explorer window, it, it's a really bad user experience. So I'll use something called uh, Fancy Zones, which comes with Microsoft Power Toys. It's free. And then Sounds you can fancy. just, yeah. Yeah, it, is, it is very fancy indeed. And you can set up zones. So I have this set up and then I'll snap my application to a predefined zone. So I know that the user experience is going to be something that I expect, like a, a 1080p type resolution. But we'll, I'll drop the link in there. It, Fancy Zone is pretty cool. pretty cool. I use the color picker out of the Power Toys every day, nice. like every single day. So um, Sharon Jonathan did his um, session at Cabo uh, last Friday on Power Toys. So I'm not sure if they recorded that, but that might be. They did. A, oh, they oh. might be a resource for them. You can go watch the fabulous Jonathan Weaver. Oh, you, do you have the link? Can you share the link to that in the in the notes there? Um, sure. I'm not. Sh we don't have them yet. They recorded oh, okay. everything, but I don't know if they're going to post it. But yeah, we can okay. do an update on that for sure. I'm sure they'll post them somewhere. But yeah, he put a brand new session together on Power Toys. He's been using them like every day. So yeah. very cool. Well, it makes for a great video talking about something that's not yet published. So thank you. <laughs> By the time somebody watches this, maybe like by the time they, they watch this video, it'll already be published and they'll go Google it. And then you'd be saying, that's exactly what I need. That's awesome yeah. in the future. Yeah. <laughs> future self. Yeah.